Okay guys, uh, we're just going to go through some of the routing and fittings I used on Shockwave build. Just for those that are interested in seeing how things progress through here. And uh, to help you if you're doing your build. Um, we'll start from the back side, um, just where the GPU area is. As you can see over here, I've got the GPU block with the uh, triple FC block on top between the two cards now the water will be flowing in from the top end yeah going in through the triple triple parallel block out and then down into the case and uh, that of course going into the case will go straight into radiator number one over here which is the 360 and then it will wind its way down into radio no radiator number two, which is the 420 at the bottom. And then from there, it will go to the next radio radiator, which is also 420 in the bottom. As you can see, coming in, going out into the next radiator in and out and then going straight into my um, flow meter and the flow meter will flow all the way up to the top part here from there it will come straight through the bottom, uh, bottom part of the case down there I don't know if you guys can see just behind there is a tube just coming straight up Alright, that tube coming straight up will go into this reservoir, ah, excuse me, into this um, radiator, yeah. That tube, that's it down there. Hooked up into this radiator, yeah. And then from there it will go, just quickly show you, straight out from that radiator at the bottom into the res so as you can see down there sorry about the shaking this um, using hands free as they say straight from the res as you can see the tubing fitting there from the reservoir goes all the way down into the D5 pump it's the D5 pump combo nice it goes out back backwards again and you guys can see that's a bit dark in there and then we'll come straight out the top into the first memory block water block and out of that into the mono block from the mono block into the next one and then at the back you'll see it going straight out into the GPU FC terminal so that's how it looks guys I've gone for a no fittings 90 degree look I try to keep as much possible away from too much over fittings I love fittings but this time I decided now I'm going to go with uh, more sort of try and get the piping look give it that feel of flow as you can see got them all stepped this is stepped up to the next level and backwards So that was the main aim is just to use minimum minimal fittings just the EKs that will of course got to use to hold it to the block area you'll see there's some fittings in this part that I had to use 
as this is a very very tight fit very tight fit to get everything in there so that's the completion of all the uh, tubing and the fittings done to everything shockwave is pretty much now ready to be filled and leak tested and from there we shall do some benchmarking and testing and see how she performs and we'll let you guys know how it goes once again thank you for watching my videos it's very appreciated that you guys are with me and uh, hope to see you on the next one thank you very much